Hello everyone! In this small land video, I am going to show you how to tame the hornet. This is the sixth creature that has been added to small land that is tameable, and it is important to know that the hornet is a later tame in game that you unlock. Firstly, you must unlock the tree to tame the hornet, and to do so, it is recommended that you speak with the elder after you have received the clover key from defeating the king stag beetle, and you give him the scroll. The elder will give you a clue. He needs you to find Teodric, or the Historian, and you will now have an icon marked on your map where to find Teodric the Historian. He is the one that gives you the recipe for the Hornet, and if you're playing on a server with friends, this is a good tip. Make sure that you drop the scroll to your friends so that they too can have their map updated. Start exactly where I am on the map. Make sure that you bring plenty of bandages and food with you. It is a dangerous location with lots of ads. Before beginning, there are two things that you must bring with you in order to get to him. First, you must bring a wingsuit, and there are currently two wingsuits in the game for you to build. The easiest one is from Dristana, but you can also build the wingsuit from Nock if you want. The second thing that you must bring with you is five resin and a stack of both wood and fiber. You will have to build to certain areas to help you get to the Historian. There are ways that you can get into the ruins on the side, but this by far was the easiest for us. By placing a grass and twig foundation with three stairs, it makes gliding across the gap really easy. As I have said before, there are a lot of ads here that are aggressive, and it is difficult to avoid every single one of them, so just make sure that you have a good range of weapons to take care of many different types of creatures. However, there is one creature that is down here that you have to fight, and they are the red colony spiders. You need to kill them because they have a chance to drop the colony spider abdomen, and you need three of those spider abdomens because they are used in the recipe to craft the hornet tree. It is not guaranteed every single time that you kill them, so you might have to fight a lot of them. They are weak to edge damage, but they still overwhelm you since they spawn rapidly and in numbers. Back to Teodric, the historian's location. When you are inside of the ruins, you need to head over to this location of where I am on the map, and this is the easiest way that you can go down. You will see that there is a gigantic stone staircase that leads you downwards. You will also find lots of pyrite down here, so you can harvest this along the way as well. Again, this becomes more dangerous because you will come across gray flies, stag beetles, cockroaches, and with the occasional colony spiders and lizards. Make your way to the very bottom of the staircase, and once you are at the bottom, there are one of two different ways that you can take to get to the historian. You can go left or right. I'm going to be going left for this, and I'm checking right now to make sure that there's no ads in the area. Make sure you go to this wooden plank and you're going to climb it and go upwards. You will notice that there's candles all over. The candles are basically points of interest. It highlights where you need to go. Along the way, you'll notice that there's a little bit of clay, but there's a lot of pyrite here. Follow the path and it eventually will lead you to a lot of resources and a lot of ads as well too. Along this path, I've noticed that we encountered gray flies and cockroaches. Keep going up the wood. Oh, there's a gray fly right there. Keep going. And this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. For this, you will need to build. So make sure that you have the wood and the fiber in your inventory ready to go. Around this corner here, you want to go over, jump up, jump up on this slanted stone, and this is where you need to build. We've already built this with a foundation and three staircases going up, and this is where you need the glider suit in order for you to get to the historian. If you do this exactly how I've done it with the three ladders, then you should be fine. You will be able to make it all the way across with no problem. Glide towards the candle. And there- oh, there's some cockroaches there. Now that those are dead, we can go ahead and continue on. More cockroaches. Now that those are dead, you can go on top of the piece of wood, and it's going to take you across this gap. You know that you are in the correct area when you see the human skull that's over there. That is how you know you've made it to the historian. And if you look below, 
there he is. And if we zoom in on the map, you can see that we're at the right place. You can walk down. I'm just going to glide down here. And let's go ahead and talk to him and unlock the treat as well as the new armor recipe. By clicking this top one here, there you go in the top left, Hornet Treat Unlocked, and you craft that in the stone oven. While you're here, you may as well talk to Teodric about other things, and if you click the second icon that he has there, you can see that you can craft the Pyrite armor set from him. Getting out of here is actually really easy. If you turn around, there's the entrance right there straight ahead of me. Just make sure that you glide across because right below you is water. Once you have made your way back to base, make sure that you have a stone oven that is crafted. So if you haven't placed one down, now is a good time to do so. Go ahead and access the stone oven and scroll all the way down to the very bottom and you'll see two treats. One for the damselfly and the other one is for the hornet tree. Make sure that you craft the hornet tree, and you can see there's the colony spider abdomens. You need three of those, one petal, and two seed oil. So that's why you wanted to kill those little red spiders when I was telling you to do so. You only need one treat to tame the hornet. Hornets can be found in a lot of different places. Where you find clay is where the most abundant of all the hornets are located. But just as a heads up, you can also find them where you harvest the metal in the top left hand corner of the map. I'm just going to use the spot over here where we find all of the clay. You don't have to go very far, but it's the same as any of the other creatures that we have done before when we tame. Basically, when you go to tame the hornet, you're going to want to attack it so that it is below half health. It does not matter where in your inventory you have the hornet treat. Just as long as it's in your inventory, you will be able to damage it and then press F to tame it. There are four different options that you will notice that you can do with your hornet once you have tamed it. You can mount it, you can tell it to wait or follow, you can have it leave your party, which means that you will basically no longer have it tamed to you and it'll be wild, or you can inspect it. Inspect it just means that you can give it your own personal name. Let's talk about some of the mechanics with the hornet. So if you look in the bottom left hand corner, you will notice that there's the name of my Hornet as well as there's a bar below that. At the time of recording this, this was before the leveling of the creatures was added into the game. So I'm assuming that in the future that is going to be for XP. If you hold down space, you will basically go upwards with the Hornet. And you will notice that as I go up right now, it consumes stamina. But you can see that you're going up so incredibly high and the stamina has barely been consumed. And if you make yourself high enough and land on a branch or something up higher, you'll hover and you'll gain stamina there, which will allow you to go even higher and even further. So you can also press shift, which will make you move a little bit quicker, but I don't notice that much of a difference. Now the coolest thing about the Hornet right here is that as I'm going up, well, I lose the stamina, so I'm going down, but you can see that the stamina is regaining as I'm falling, which makes this the better of the two flyers that are currently in the game. And I'm talking about between the Damselfly and between the Hornet. The Hornet is definitely better. The hornet actually has an attack. By clicking left mouse button, you will have the little jab that pokes out and it does deal poison damage to the creatures that you hit. If you click right mouse button, you do this very fast ambush right here. And as you spin at the very end, you get a little bit of height. And it's a good way of boosting across the map just to go that much faster. You can still press V while you're mounted onto the back of it. But I will say this, like with all of the creatures in small land, I don't really recommend them too much for attacking. You have to keep in mind as well too that I do not have any of my settings boosted for the creatures. I basically have my settings for the creature as default. So all of the attack and the health of the creature is basic. Tyrant and I here are trying to kill this lizard. However, by the end of it, our, our hornets were basically almost below half health. His almost died right here as well. So. They're still good mounts, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend to use them for attacking. It's more like a scout, in my opinion. Unless you t choose to actually boost your settings yourself, it's entirely up to you. And that is everything that you need to know about how to tame the Hornet. If this was helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing as it does help out my channel a lot. Let me know in the comments below of what you are struggling with and what you would like me to show you next. Until then, I'll see you later.